Welcome back to the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. JT Webb joined now by head softball coach David Williams. And coach, your, your team had a pretty good week last week, 4-2, and two, swept an OVC doubleheader from Austin P. And it, it seems like your team is, is starting to play their best softball when it, when it becomes most important. Yeah, we're really starting to kind of uh, turn the corner, I guess, and, and really starting to peak a little bit. Uh, you know, rough start to the season with weather, and then we had some injuries and things like that. But things are really starting to come together for us, and we're starting to figure out some roles and, and figure out how to manufacture runs and get people across. And defense has stepped up phenomenal. We've had some really great pitching performances. Uh, Tana Cypher in particular, who's thrown uh, several good outings in a row now. So uh, as everything starts to come together, we continue to gain confidence and it's starting to show in the win column. You also mentioned manufacturing runs. When you just have two or three hits in a game against Murray State, a one nothing victory, and, and then a close game 3-2 victory over Austin P. you've still found a way to, to get runs across to win those games. Yeah, it's something we've been talking about all year long. Um, we've got to make the most of opportunities when we get people on base. And, and one thing we've been able to do recently is uh, – not only move a runner over with a bunt, uh, make the most of a walk or an error, um, but we've been able to come up with the big hit at the right time. Um, you know, two outs, runners in scoring position, uh, maybe no outs, runners in scoring position, but we've been able to come up with the big hits at the right time within the past week, and, and it's really starting to show a little bit. And we can get by and we can win a game having the minimal hits. How important was it? for the confidence of a, of a freshman, Carly Thompson, to, to step in there with a runner on second and, and a base hit back up the middle to, to win that game over Murray State? I mean, I think it's huge. Um, that shows her that she's capable of doing it. But not only that, I think it's, it's not just for her, but for the team. It shows that, you know, if you compete and you play a game like that and you're scoreless uh, going into the bottom of the seventh, you've played a phenomenal defensive game. Uh, pitchers duel on both parts, obviously. Um, but it's, it shows that if you do the right things and you hang around and you give yourself a chance at the end that you can be successful. So not only for Carly, but for the team as a whole, I think it's a huge win. You got a big weekend coming up with Tennessee State coming into town for an OVC series. Uh, the series as a whole is big. We, we got to win some ball games in OVC play, but also honoring your seniors this weekend as well. Yeah, uh, big weekend all around. Uh, obviously, first and foremost, you want to concentrate on the games. Um, but we will take a uh, moment on Sunday to recognize our six departing seniors and the contributions that they have made to this program. And obviously, uh, big weekend all around. Um, I think we know what we have to play for and, and where we need to position ourselves in conference play. Um, but this weekend is really important as we set ourselves up for next weekend as well. One more question for you, Coach. When you, you know that the OVC race to get into the tournament will probably come down to one of the last games, and you know you have six games left in, in conference play, how do you just concentrate on that one game, that next seven innings that are in front of you? You know, I haven't really thought too far ahead until just now. So, uh, <laughs> um, but, but really, I mean, Tennessee State's the opponent we have right now, and that's what we're working on. I haven't even looked at anything really for Tennessee Tech at this point. Uh, we saw them early on in the year at a tournament at Auburn. But um, I think our players as a whole understand what's at stake over the next two weekends. Um, and I think, you know, not just for us, but I think for a lot of people in our conference, a lot of things can happen in the last two weekends and how you see those standings right now. It's not how it's going to be at the end of those two weeks. So um, I think everybody's kind of in the same boat. So, um, you know, you just got to go out and play the games and see what happens and let everything fall into place. Coach, we wish you all the best this weekend. All right, thank you. That was head softball coach David Williams. Be back. This is the Eagle Sports Coaches Show.